Shalom, shalom, Shabbat Adonai. Thank God for another day. Brother Greg is with us today. We're going to talk about these idols that people are continuing to worship. We know that your eyes, a lot of people's eyes are closed and they don't know that they're worshiping. But still, we're going to bring the word of God still. We have Brother Greg, we'll read Isaiah for us, chapter 44. Isaiah chapter number 44 verses 13 through 18 reads, The carpenter stretches out his rule, he maketh it with a line, he fitteth it with planes, and he marketh it out with a compass, and maketh it after the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. He heweth him down cedars, and taketh the cypress and the oak, which he strengthened for himself among the trees of the forest, he planteth an ash, and the rain doth nourish it. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will take thereof and warm himself. Yea, he kindled it, and baketh bread. Yea, he maketh a god, and worshipeth it. He maketh it a graven image, and falleth down thereto. He burneth part thereof in the fire, with part thereof he eateth flesh. He roasteth, roast, and is satisfied. Yea, he warmeth himself, and saith, Ah, I am warm, I have seen the fire. And the residue thereof he maketh a god, even his graven image. He falleth down unto it, and worshipeth it, and prayeth unto it, and saith, Deliver me, for thou art my god. Verse number 18 reads, They have not known nor understood for he has shut their eyes that they cannot see, and their hearts that they cannot understand. Verse number 19. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Yea, also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. And, sh and shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? He feedeth on ashes, and deceived heart hath turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? Continue. Yes. Verse number 21. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee, thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Amen. As you can see, the Lord is pleading with uh, the known nation of Israel, but the uh, the bride of Christ who call themselves Christians that are worshiping these idols. I want to read for you. Thank you, Brother Greg. I want to read for you Isaiah chapter 45 and verse number 16. Start verse 16. They shall be ashamed and confounded, all of them. They shall be confused together. They make the idols, but Israel shall be saved and the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens and the earth, God himself that formed the earth and made it and has established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, there is none else. I have spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth, I said unto the seed of Jacob, Seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come draw nigh together, ye that are escaped of the nations and have no knowledge that set up wood or either graven images and pray to a God that cannot save. Tell ye and bring them near, yet yeah, let them take counsel together who have declared this from ancient time, who has told it from the time have not I the Lord 
and there is no God besides me, a just God and a Savior. There is none besides me. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is none else. I have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, And the Lord have I righteousness and strength, even to himself shall men come, and all that are in increase against him shall be ashamed. And then the Lord shall all the sea of Israel be justified and shall glory 